Hidden World of the Misanthrope A Misanthrope in Plain Sight What is a misanthrope? A person who dislikes or distrusts other people or mankind in general. Maybe I'm asocial, indifferent to or averse to conforming to conventional standards of behaviour. I would call myself a hidden misanthrope. In general, I outwardly get on with people. I'm kind towards them, but secretly despise them. I usually can get on well with people one-on-one, -on -one, but in groups, people tend to disagree with me or call me out. Sometimes confrontation ensues. I've learnt to conform, especially in employment, but I usually can't keep up the act. Two years seems to be the limit for every job I've had. Examples and observations One-on-one -on -one conversations almost always go well. In high school, I often only had one friend, or at least I only spent time with one friend at a time. I naturally question social norms, so in group situations, things can go wrong. I was playing a tabletop role-playing game with four of my friends. I questioned one of the group's decisions. Consequently, I had four angry individuals yelling at me. Group think, perhaps. And yes, they were truly angry. And all I had done was disagree with one point that they had made. I very rarely check Facebook, but the other day I had a quick search for my high school friends. There were photos of them having fun together. Was I invited? No. Do I care? Barely. Admittedly, I don't have a personal Facebook account, or if I do, I don't use it. Uh, probably if I liked their photos or posted a comment saying, oh, you, what a great house you've just bought, or what a lovely car, then I'd probably be invited to these events. Colleagues, students, parents, etc. arrange to meet me. Sometimes they are late, or simply don't attend. Any reason given? No. Any apology? No. So I go out of my way to help these people, but they do not respond in kind. More examples. Good ideas are openly mocked. If someone comes up with a good idea that the majority disagree with, the idea is either scoffed at or completely disregarded. Good actions that disagree with the majority are derided. For example, vegetarianism. I would consider being a vegetarian a moral good. However, my decision has often been openly criticised in front of groups of people. I never bring up my vegetarianism in conversation unless asked. So I'm not a militant vegan or whatever. I don't go around saying, you should do this, you should do that. Not at all. But when people find out, the assault begins. I was once in the police academy and the sergeant who was standing at the head of the classroom uh, asked the audience, Oh, is anybody here, sorry, does anybody here have a dietary restriction? And I raised my hand and said that, yes, I'm a vegetarian. And then he laughed. He laughed openly and boisterously. He then asked me, are you serious? And I said, yes. He then said, that's okay then. After I've eaten my steak, you can have my leftover salad. Everybody laughed and I felt like the butt of the joke. Again, in one-on-one -on -one situations, everyone is cool with me being a vegetarian. But groups tend to bring out the worst in people. Teamwork is a nightmare. You either have to agree or be the outcast. It doesn't matter if your ideas are good. Group cohesion is much more important. I can achieve much more by myself than in any group I've worked with. I've done lots of uh, programming in teams. Often we spend hours and hours debating and debating and debating what we're going to do. If only I could just get on a computer and do it myself, it would have been done. I can't stand teamwork. Not to say that teamwork is bad in some situations, but the teamwork that I'm thinking of, the employment, the forced employment teamwork, that's what I don't like. How to be a successful social human. Okay, this is a rather sarcastic list, but it is somewhat true. Never rock the boat, especially when you are new to a group. Conformity is key. Dissenters will soon lose favour. When I was working in an insurance company, there was a new lad. He was very, very good at programming. He knew all his code, he knew how to get things done on a computer. But he wasn't good at agreeing with people. And what happened? He lost his job within two months. 
When I just started out as a programmer, I pointed out an obvious flaw in the work process. Boy, was I put in my place. When you're new, unless you've been paid to be there to ruffle some feathers, for example, you're the new CEO of a company who has to set things straight again or set things right. But if you're just a new employee at the bottom of the food chain, you don't have any say. You've got to put up and shut up. Group cohesion is much more important than the best outcome. Groupthink has been blamed for the failure of the 1961 Bay of Pigs invasion and the 1986 Space Shuttle Challenger disaster. You can look those up for yourself if you don't know what they are. Always be nice. Be courteous. Listen to people's ideas, even if they're silly. Most importantly, put on a constant act, especially in employment situations. Now I don't know if this is true for all people, but I found myself having to put on an act at work. You can't be yourself. If you're yourself, you'll get kicked out. You'll lose your job. How do I survive in this world of hurt? I always treat people nicely, at least when I first meet them. If they wrong me, I usually just ignore rather than confront. It's not worth the hassle. Usually no good comes of confronting people, especially in the office. If you confront somebody and piss them off, then your life at that job is going to be a living hell, potentially. I found the best way is just to ignore people, especially people who are always on edge or people who like to go around and cause problems. I avoid too many social interactions. I choose jobs where I can mostly work by myself or one-on-one. -on -one. Tutoring is good. I avoid jobs with managers. So ultimately I'd like to have a job where I can work from home permanently. That'd be quite good. For example, creating YouTube videos. We'll see what happens with this channel, eh? Despite being a hidden misanthrope, I accept that I must deal with people on a daily basis. Most people are fairly self-centered, so I deal with them sparingly. Almost everyone disappoints me. They can't see or admit their own wrongdoing. For example, students that are constantly late, friends that cancel at the last minute. That happens much more than I'd like. Now, often they arrange the meeting. They're the ones who ring me up and say, oh yes, I'd like to do this. Great. I put it in my calendar. I tell my family that I'm going somewhere or whatever. They make alternate arrangements. And then what happens? Literally one hour before we're meant to be meeting. Oh, sorry, something's come up. I can't do it. Now, if that only happened once in a blue moon, that would be fine. But it happens so often. People aren't going to change for me. So I must learn to accept, tolerate, or avoid. In my opinion, that's the only options. I've either got to accept them, tolerate them, or just not be around them. And finally, accept my misanthropic fate. I was once told that a child is born pure of heart, with no prejudice, no hostility, no hate. It is life that creates resentment, anger, and fear. Violence is the result. The world is not going to change for me. I can only live a moral life and teach my children to do the same. I must find outlets to avoid the badness in society, to avoid the tragedy that has befallen the human race. Although negative, there are glimmers of hope. I have certainly not lost hope. I must accept my fate. I am a misanthrope, hiding in plain sight.